They'll be calling you a radical. Ken Buser's dad is out. Going, he's going to present his data on the 13th. Today's the 12th, and I want to get out in front of this. And hopefully one of you great activists that's down there, I'm not even sure where he's presenting, but I'll find out. Hopefully one of you can get there. And here's what you need to go at him with. Now, here's what he's going to say. He's going to say this. He's going to say all their samples showed 134, so we know that Fukushima has contaminated the ocean. Every one of them is going to say that. Then he's going to go into his same old, like a broken record, that the nuclear freaking cartel has, and he's funded by the nuclear cartel, lock, stock, barrel, that it's low levels, low levels, it's not going to hurt you, fly, blah, 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 blah. Here's what you need to ask him. This guy's a fraud, a big time fraud. And now you think about this. We're going on 1,350 days, the greatest PhD opportunity for a young marine biologist in the history of mankind. Nobody's even touched it. How is that fucking humanly possible? The greatest opportunity for a marine photographer to do his gig. The greatest opportunity for a scientist to make his way beyond a PhD, to live in infamy, ha happen. Is that humanly possible? Is a human policy statistically possible for how many marine, but 300 marine biology departments with thousands, hundreds, hundreds of thousands of marine biologists and nobody studying the ocean? Except Ken Buesler. Now here's what I want you to ask him. This study right here. This is June 2011, the KOK study. The international team, multiple universities in depth. Here's what this study says. June 2011. 25 miles off the coast of Fukushima, Japan, 300 meters down in the column, three sample sets were taken. One, the background was three times the normal background. Two, second, 50, third, a thousand times. Now these samples he's saying, this one, the lowest one. Now remember, the lowest one he's saying three times. Three times this study says. Buser's studies are showing Thousands of times lower than this one that says three times. Now, there's one with a thousand. Now, here's what you have to pin him down. And somebody needs to do this. If i got to jump on a plane tomorrow afternoon, I'll do it. Here's what this has you have to say. Ken Buser's name is on this study. Look at the names on this study. In the abstract, in the conclusion, here's what the conclusion, and I had the study before the conclusion was even written and read it out. You want to talk about keyboard activists you want? I can... Right now, you think I don't have power? You, I can ask for one thing right now. Right now, anything, anything. This army that I have, they'll have it to me in minutes. For instance, Sajay Gupta MD on the 26th, 2011, that morning, came on and did an incredible black and yellow, that's my term, black and yellow media. He came in and just slandered, hardcore, hardcore. I asked my army, get it, get it, get it. Nobody's ever going to get that right. They pulled it down. Oh, I got it. Find me inside Cal Berkeley and Livermore, the air and water mine. Dig in. Oh, I got it. I ask, I get. By the way, I have this document that I've printed off. It's this deep. It's well over 12,000 pages deep. I have it. Shane Russell's incredible work from day one. But here's what you need to ask him. Do you stand by that study? Now, let's logically talk about this. In logical, rational reason. You think the Pacific Ocean's a bathtub. So abusers just going out there randomly hitting this spot, that spot, that spot, and they're coming up with the same readings. Oh no. Oh no. Let's get real. Let's be rational and logical on this thing. It's not a bathtub. Some of the swiftest rivers in the world, that bridge made it to Eugene in how many days? The Tracer study in San Diego, Tuna, the Silver Streak. So we have an eddy that comes off Fukushima, where they're pouring. And remember, do not forget, even his studies, you buy into his watered-down studies, which, okay, let's buy into his bullshit studies. Let's say, you know, for him to even say that it is there is a quantum leap for this. It's a, it's a quantum blow. It's Goffman 1090. You know, you've been watered down, you've been boiled like a frog, and it's taken them nearly four years to boil you. And there was one guy right yelling his radical lunatic head out right down to predicting his own leukemia, watching his fight come through the leukemia unit. You need to pin him down. Look, fish swim. This is pocket. So, 
Eddie goes like this, comes in there, catches the Japanese current. The Japanese current flows up like this, hooks in like this to the California current. The California, then it hooks up into where all your fish burgers come from, the Alaskan. Up into the sound. Goes, runs down the coast very swiftly. So it's obviously pockets. Now look, as they're dumping into the Pacific Ocean, now by the way, his study, even if you buy into it, Okay, think about this. I want you to think about this. They're pushing water in every day. Every day. So say it did slosh across and I made this long thing. Think what's behind it. Fukushima is worse today than it was yesterday. It was yesterday than the day before. TEPCO's own words. We're relying on unyet developed technology to solve this. There's no answer. There's no turning it off. None. You know, thank you, Dana, for your brief work. I, I'll tell you the one thing I really like about Dana's incredible work is those photographs. By the way, Dana was contacted by Jeff. And, you know, that whole thing, there's a lot of slander on a lot of people's books. I mean, that money that Jeff put with me was supposed to be a quarter million dollars with anything. Ha! Every single, I never spent one single penny of it. Not what? And the people that slandered me, you think I'm just going to forget about that? Ha! Dream on, you don't know me. And like I said, I talked when I was in the street with those young fighters. Look, you don't think I've been beat up before? Took years living this. You see that scar across my face? You want to see the scars from night sticks in the back of my head? Oh yeah, I've been at this a long, long time. And I've run into much bigger fish than you little rats up in, you little bucktooth girl up in freaking British Columbia. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you're playing with fire. You are playing with fire because I have truth on my side and my army has truth on our sides. So, simply ask can in a cordial way. And by the way, I've never said the Pacific Ocean was dead. Not one time in 1,400 videos that I've done on this subject matter. Not once. You want to go at me? You want to? I've ate slate drink this since I, from birth. I literally sleep with it every day. Head of the Atomic Veterans for 30 years. 30 years at the sun and for hearings in the 60s. I've been fighting this tooth and nail. I could write a thousand books on it. Ten PhDs on this subject over the top, beyond over the top. Try me. Try me. I've called it Pacific Genocide. You don't even know the definition of the word genocide. If you believe the American West, you believe that Germans invented the genocide, you know nothing about the American West. Wall Stegner, I was in his program. I knew Ed Rabbit personally. I've been in the street fighting from since I was a boy. Since I was, I can remember protesting in Salt Lake with Edward Abbey himself when I was just a little teeny kid with my family. Look, you need to ask Ken straight up, do you stand by this study? Now let's think about this and let's get real about this. This study is how many people? I mean, we call it our NSET. You know, this study is so, so credible. Read it. Read it. In the conclusion, we conclude that the Fukushima contamination is already into the eastern current. That's their words, June 2011, including Ken Bucketfuck Buesler's name. So somebody needs to go over there. Now, if I got to do it again, just like all everybody says they're going to show up to San Onofre hearing last year, when I was at the Megan Rice gig in New York City, leading my post ignorance walk to Alexander Hamilton, and then they pushed. Poor Megan's trial from September to January, and I went again. I was there. Oh, yeah, we'll get right over there. We'll ask the hard questions. No, you won't. Now, Laura, you were with me in the San Onofre hearing. You see how I play. You see how we do it. I hope that I've taught plenty of people how to do it. We can be strong. Ken. Ken Buesler. Ken, I simply want to ask you this question. Here is this study. Your name is on this study. Do you still stand by this study? So how, if you stand by this study, that it's a thousand times one of your sample sets, a thousand times background level, he says right into these words, how do you say that these, and this is how many days later? How many? Over 1,200 days later from this study, from that study, which we know it's been pouring in continually every day? Logic, logic. The genocide of the Pacific Ocean is very, very real. Will it, can, can it kill the ocean? Oh no, the ocean is much too big, much too powerful for humans. That spiritual blue bean. Like I said, I want to show you something. I've showed this many times. You know I've paid homage to that freaking ocean. I've wore freaking holes. I've been on every single pier in these 1,400 days. I found that on Oceanside, on Pier. 
or excuse me, not on the pier, on the beach. The mighty blue Pacific, you are no match, Ken Buesler, you are no match. And as I got leukemia, I fought for her. I fought for that mighty blue lady that cultures for thousands and thousands and thousands, hundreds if not millions of years have worshipped and understood that blue lady. You want to go against her? You want to freaking, the solution to pollution is dilution? No, it's not. This is not pollution. This is a nuclear fallout. It does not go away and it does not dilute. I'll tell you who's deluded. You. You are deluded and your credibility is stinks. Ask him. Somebody needs to get over there. This is important. Now, if you don't want to do it, I'll jump on a freaking red eye and I'll get down there. And I'm simply going to ask him. I had that in my hand the whole time. I defend her, she defends me. In truth. It's just like our keyboard activists and the million masks, all of us. All these groups, whatever. We have the truth. Just like the situation in Canada. We have the truth. I love Dana, and I'll tell you why Dana. Through this whole thing, Dana took the high road. He took the high road. That's hard to do when people, these rat fink little creeps in their basement who don't even get on the water. Simply, I mean, we armchair quarterbacks. I mean, it's pathetic. I was, a, I was an incredible athlete when I was young. Amazing athlete. I know how armchair quarterbacks play. Come on, get in the ring. You want to get in the ring? Come on. Come on. Let's get in the ring. Get in the ring. In the ring, you have plenty of opportunities. I've showed up on how many different events you've had. Plenty. I've been in L.A., San Francisco, freaking you name it, up and down multiple times. Right there. Here's my phone number. Show up. You guys want a bad mother? You're sitting right in L.A. You're sitting right in San Diego, whatever. Come on. Come on. Come on. You want to talk to me? Come talk to me. Show up. Somebody needs to show up to this and say, Ken, you're saying these are low levels that won't harm you. Are you kidding me? This is gamma rays. This is nuclear fission. This has never happened in the history of mankind. We don't even know what the hell they are. And it's just like when Janet, one of our, you want to talk keyboard activists? You want to talk anonymous? Try my army. Try my army. Anything that happens out there, I'll guarantee you, I'm getting it like that. This army's been developed. When we put up that on May 20th, the fire at number four, and everybody pulled back on me. You've had all this time to say, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Prove me fucking wrong. I want you to. All you srats that sit up in Canada and you go out like me and Dana, prove us fucking wrong. Prove us wrong. You're not going to do it behind a fucking keyboard and some book from the fucking 70s or 80s. Fucking black and white photos. Come on. Prove us fucking wrong. I've never said the Pacific Ocean was dead. Never. Dying? That's absolute documented proof. I've been up and down that coach and on that beach, anybody I talk to, they all know it's dying. They'll argue why. California's dying, by the way, Southern California. It's like the emperor has no fucking clothes. 400 year old trees are fucking dropping dead there. Mega drought from hell, always been, oh no, read the Spanish explorers. They called it the fountain of youth for some reason. Go down there, go down there. When in the sanctuary was in its full bloom, which I was there. I was there as a boy. Oh yeah, my father on San Onofre at the freaking Pendleton. <laughs> you know, the rat fink attorneys that won't stand up. You're worse than the marine biologists. I have it on a silver platter that these guys knew they were going to nuke my father. And they knew they were going to give him leave King before I was born. Fukushima pot. We have it on a silver platter. We know cancer rates are going crazy post Fukushima. We know that worldwide. Fucking herd of elephants in the room? Fucking A. Somebody simply, in a cordial way, just a cordial way, and you've got to have your camera on. Hello, just like me. I'm not a reporter. I could fight with my camera in my head. People saw that camera and they're like, oh my God, look at this thing. It's beat up, chipped up, banged up. Freaking, this thing belongs to the Smithsonian. Oh boy. You know where it's been? Do you have any idea why I'm critical condition, where this camera's been? People that have been watching this video from all day, they know where it's been. Is this historical? Oh boy. Just like Dana's work. Incredibly historical. Ask Ken. Cordially. Strongly. Ken, do you stand by this study? How do you explain that a thousand times? Because it doesn't go away. And you fools that think this is dilute, this is a bathtub, are insane. Fish swim, fuckers. Ocean currents move. You think this is some fucking game. It's some fucking joke. Are you fucking kidding me? I've been fighting for my fucking life. Almost fucking dead. Are you fucking kidding me? You fucking rats and cats. You think this is a fucking game? You honestly think this is a fucking game? This is a fight for our fucking lives. 
in a fuck going in and out of a fucking coma exactly three years ago. Fucking clinging, fighting my ass off to stay alive. I know what gave me leukemia. So many of you gonna die from this. Fukushima, we have from the air and water monitoring. We have it, the data in Sacramento on day three. Here it is. I reported it on day three. Day three, here's the video right here. Read the fucking script in the video. Day three, there it is. What, you think this is a joke? You don't think this gives people fucking cancer? It kills them? Huh. You tell that to Brittany Maynard. Tell that to Brittany Maynard. Tell that to fucking thousands and thousands. San Francisco, Seattle, Salt Lake City, Utah, all over this fucking land. There's no fucking game. This is the greatest ecological catastrophe in human history. This is the greatest fucking one fucking horrible event in human history. The greatest cover up in human fucking history. The greatest violation to human rights in fucking human history. This ain't no fucking game. Now if I gotta fucking drive by, if I gotta fucking go down and go stand by tomorrow night and get down there, I'll fucking do it. You can't fucking walk into a place with a camera and just ask a question. You can't. How do you explain this? How do you explain this? You're saying it's just fucking in level. Every one of your things is showing season 134, which we know the Atlas, and we know it's focusing. So you're saying just low level. How can one spot be exactly identical to the other spot? That's impossible. That's statistically, just like it's impossible for every single marine biologist department to just go. I mean, boy, does Lori get it. Boy, it's impossible. Huh. Huh. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible for no media to cover a parade in Manhattan that ha goes on for six and a half hours, the greatest parade in human history, and that's no exaggeration. 450,000, it's impossible for that to happen, right? Right in Manhattan? Six and a half hours, the most beautiful, spectacular parade in human, in American, well, forget it, in human history, probably. And nobody come. It's impossible for guys to storm the FBI, tear down the fucking gates in front of the Capitol, go fucking crazy, 470 fucking days. It's impossible for just a couple fucking guys on the internet to get together and organize and create that. That's impossible for no media, right? Right? That's impossible. Huh. I'll tell you what's fucking impossible. This cover-up of Fukushima. Conspiratorial? Fucking A conspiratorial. These fuckers are going to pay... Fucking, you fucking rats go after me like that? You know nothing about me. Huh. Fucking assholes. Fucking slanderous pieces of fucking dog shit. Tack me, tack my family like that? In a fucking way? Who do you fuckers think you are? You don't think I'm going to fight back? You know nothing. You know nothing. You know nothing. How long, how long must I sing this song? I'll sing it till I'm fucking dead. Ask him the question. Do you stand by that study? There's his name. That's on day fucking what? Less than 100. We're on day what? It's been pointing there every single day. And prove us wrong on that fucking video, Janet and I. That wasn't a fire. Prove us fucking wrong. You fucking tell me all you know it all fuckers what that was. By the way, thank you, Shane. I've got that printed out. It's fucking 10,000 pages deep. I got it backed up. I got it backed up in very secure, safe fucking places. Wow, what a document that is. Fucking what an incredible document. And you know, maybe we'll all be dead and gone when this is fucking future generations will fucking litigate. Stay in tune and fuck you, Ken Bucket Fuck Buesler.